So, welcome to part two of the power supply repair. I've cleaned out some of the dust, but it's still very dusty in there. So I'm using an old paintbrush. Just makes things uh, a bit easier. And also, it aids cooling. If you remove some of the dust. It's not, uh, it's not blocking vents and blocking airflow and stuff like that. So, yeah, so we've got um, current sharing resistors by here. Not, uh, not easily seen, I know. Well, there we go. Might be a bit easier. You see the uh, current sharing resistors here. There's three. There's three here. One there. And one there. So those would have been the um, current shading resistors for the emitter. This is the these brown leads here are the emitter leads. So that will be quite easy to uh, uh, to do. I can just um, unsolder these. I can test the transistors. You can see the transistors are bolted there. So there's one. There's another. That is a thermal switch uh, for the fan. Thermal switch. This is the bridge rectifier, the four diodes. And on the bottom part of the heat sink, which you can't really see properly underneath there, is another transistor, but there's a place on there for two transistors. So we've already got one, and there's an empty spot here. We can pop another transistor there. And what have we got on this side? It all in and there. Um, the thermal switch is in a place for another transistor that's been bolted on there, but we could move that. We could move that. Um, yeah, we could possibly move that and put another transistor there. So we could possibly add two. We can definitely add one uh, at the back here. On the lower heatsink, and we might be able to add another transistor there. That just um, takes stress off the other five transistors. So, right, let's get on. Remove the remove the um, emitter wires and test them. You can find out which one is short. You can test from uh, emitter to collector. It's not easy trying to get my solder iron in there. They've all got to come off, otherwise you just leave one wire connected and that's the bad one. It'll still be shorting out all the others. So we need to take them all off. We've got, uh, we've got four off. This one here. It's a little bit more awkward. It's uh, nestled in by there. Can't quite get it properly. There we go. So that's all them off, and those are the only wires we need to disconnect. Really, we can now. Test them. We can now test to see which one has the short. So the collector is the actual body of the transistor. The collector is the body, and the um, yeah. 
connected is the body, just making sure. Uh, the emitter, they're disconnected. Okay, and the thinner wire on here, the little thin black wire, that is the uh, base. That's what takes the, uh, the regulated voltage from the regulator circuit here and pops it into the transistor to keep the transistor regulated at the voltage we set it for on the front. So we'll um, connect up the meter, put on diode test, and we'll grab a, a known good. Grab a known good transistor and from the base to the emitter. Okay, need a couple of hands, I know. Okay, that's a good one. There's not a lot of difference between uh, testing between the uh, base and emitter and the base and the collector, but you can just see there's a slight difference. Roughly uh, 540 uh, ohms, 553, so that's a good one. Let's do the same with these. Let's see uh, what we've got. Let's go off. Um, go off there first. Well, if we get a short, it'll just do that. We get a row of zeros. So let's try this one first. Looks okay. Looks okay. Oh, there we go. Row of zeros on this one. Right, try that one. That's okay. So that is the that is the one that's gone. And that one is this transistor here, this one. So with that in mind, we can now connect up all the others, we can connect them back up. The power supply will still work, but we obviously the, the current um, rating will be down. We just need to change that one. That's okay because that is easy to get to. I'm going to unbolt the top, the top um, heat sink, and we can get to it quite easily. But the power supply should uh, now work again. Yeah. So let's pop that one there. So the power supply should now work again. We need to uh, solder these ones back on. That one is an awkward one. This, um, this pressed steel is quite sharp, where it's been cut on a guillotine and it's folded the edge over, it's quite sharp. So we'll um, plug it in in a minute and um, Play it, then it should it should work.
as unless there's nothing else wrong. Okay, so we've got four of the five transistors connected back up. 